Hi, family. It's me, Miss Sam. Hugs and kisses to you. Let's do a reading on little Cam. Okay. Let's do a reading on him. This is sunscreen on my face. <laughs> Here we go. We have the mystical tarot. And why am I talking like that? I have no idea. Little Cam currently being held on gun charges in Houston, Texas. Many people believe that he was one of the people who shot takeoff from the Migos, leading to his death. They do not believe that Little Cam is the one who actually dispensed the shot that killed takeoff, the headshot. What's on little Cam's mind? Just a second. <laughs> Missing a girlfriend is here. Okay. Woman, women. Honane is on his mind. <laughs> Some people might say, well, Miss Sam, that's obvious. Is it? <laughs> Is it? Okay, first card. Queen of Swords. All right, there is a woman on his mind, but not for, for any reasons. This woman is chastising him. She's shouting at him, telling him off, bossing him about, telling him what to do. It's a woman. It's an older woman as well. That woman has skulls behind her. It's as if Little Cam has been doing things for this woman, attacking people for this woman, possibly harming and hurting people for this woman or based on her orders. She has a big sword in her hand, so she's very, very influential. She makes a lot of decisions in his life. Is she part of mob ties? Very possibly. Very, very possibly. But who is she? Is she a family member? I don't know. But she's a mob ties woman. Next card. Tell me more about her and why she's angry with him or why she's bossing him around. She's the one who's talking to him. She's the one that's calling him, communicating with him, etc. Queen of coins. <laughs> Same person. Queen of coins. Queen of swords. So he's an enforcer. A debt collector. Debt collector just a second hold on So yes, he's a debt collector. He is the person that turns up at your door, at your place of work, when money is due. And he works on her say-so. So he's taking orders, not from J. Prince Jr., 
or Jay Prince Sr. even, when he's around. Not even from Jazz Prince, but a female in the mob ties. Grotty Empire. Now, with this Queen of Coins here, which is the Queen of Pentacles, you can see she's come up here as an as a older lady, but here as a younger lady. So very possibly her mind is very wise beyond her years, or she's been given a lot of responsibilities within mob ties, but she's actually quite young, nearer to little Cam's age. Her nakedness here may be part of his fascination or attraction or may tell us that actually he's quite attracted to her and so on and maybe that's why she's able to influence him so much maybe that's why he actually listens to her a lot of women run things within these organizations you know and that's what's coming up here taking orders from a woman. <laughs> Next card. <laughs> she's telling him about money. She's talking to him about money and she's chastising him. The sooner he gets out of there, he can go and resume business And go get her money, but she's possibly complaining about people who haven't paid in his absence. So she's losing a lot of money because of the fact that he's behind bars. But wouldn't she get somebody else to go and do her errands for her? <laughs> who knows? Let's see if it comes up. Next card. What's on little Cam's mind or tell us more about this woman and him, the orders, etc. Yeah, this is him. He's the Knight of Wands here. The card that came out with it here was the Five of Pentacles here. So even though, and this is about poverty, the Five of Pentacles, and here he is, Little Cam, as the Knight of Wands, doing all of these things for this empire. The interesting thing that I've found about mob ties, since I've been doing readings on them, actually, family, is that they really do feel justified in what they're doing. They don't regard themselves as a criminal organization. They regard themselves as just a regular, regular group business, a company. That's how they really view themselves. They have this legitimacy within them that kind of, and it's very much because of their connections. If it wasn't for their connections, then they would just be any other gang or group or, or they would just be a gang. But because of their connections and because of the, the duration, the amount of time that they have been allowed to be in operation unin, uninterrupted without anybody bothering them. They feel that their organization, their enterprise is legitimate. Anyway, here's a poverty card here and then here's little Cam here. So obviously him being behind bars is affecting his own personal coin because a lot of money is being spent on his legal representation. That's not money that's going into his pocket. That's money that's being used to pay to get him out the way, off the hook, and back into their control. Because while he's behind bars, who knows what could happen? Who knows? It's about pressure. But here, it's about money. Okay, and this is what this female, who is this female, this is what they're talking about. Double queen energy, very, very, very strong feminine energy within this mob ties. 
But here is the poverty card here for little Cam. He's feeling it because he is not getting any personal money for himself. He can't. He's behind bars. No doubt. Disclaimer. When he what goes on these little errands, when he goes out and about for God, take people their money, extortion. He gets some money for that. Quite a nice little earner. Not all of money. <laughs> so he wants to get the buck out so he can get back to robbing and extorting and so on. But uh, I think there needs to be some caution on this card, little Cam. I don't think you can operate in exactly the same way that you operated in before. Hmm? I think you'd be completely stupid to think that you can resume business as normal, business as usual. It not got so. Next card. What else is on little Cam's mind? Any cups, yeah, Maya? Any cups? No. Four of Wands here in reverse. Listen. Here we have a very cocky little extortionist. He's so cocky. He feels that he can go it alone. Oh, yeah, he wants to go back out there. He wants to get back out there and make money. Oh, yes, he does. He wants to go fast. Get back into business. But not with mob ties. Him no one deal with Uno no more. And let's face it. <laughs> faced, faced it. Let's face it. He's fully equipped, darlings. He's fully equipped. Little Cam's resume is this long. <laughs> he got a long resume. Try this. His job description of a hitter, extortionist, enforcer is very impressive, isn't it? <laughs> it's so impressive that he can go it alone. He can head his own enterprise. I keep telling, I keep telling this J Prince Senior guy, I keep telling him, and J Prince Junior. When you train the student, they always want to be the professor. They want to be the organ grinder. They don't want to be the monkey forever. Little Cam does not want to be the monkey student apprentice. He's gone in past that stage already. Him gone past it. He's graduated. Y'all graduated him already. So him, he is ready for go and go left or no? You understand? Do you understand what that means? He wants to go and do his own thing, set up his own business, start his own mob. <laughs> well, well, well. What is this I detect? Is this mutiny? <laughs> Captain J. Prince. There is trouble aboard. <laughs> yes, you've spent the money on the lawyers and so on, but because y'all are planning, you don't think little Cam is planning to? <laughs> you don't think he's planning to sail away like that boat over there? Look, 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 look. Sail away. Sail away. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to get the fuck on and he's made contingencies for it the smart little boy little cam he may, you may not have regarded him as smart but he's smart just to remind you he's a very fit and healthy knight of wands 
And he doesn't like this poverty energy here. And he doesn't like taking orders from this woman. As sexy, as sexy and cute. And as she's shaped. But he doesn't want to take orders from her forever. So he wants to spit away the four of wands in reverse. Ceremony, organization, a gathering, a group, a meeting. <laughs> now, you might have scheduled meetings for when he gets out of jail. You might have set up a penthouse, beautiful penthouse. Or somewhere far away from the maddening crowd where little Cam can be sent to. But uh, <laughs> if he is not escorted there and monitored 24 seven, and even then, <laughs> oh, it's a movie. Even then, even with somebody monitor him, monitoring him, you don't know whether that person is loyal to you, mob ties, or whether that person is even safe. Little Cam has got some tricks up his sleeve. Next card. I'm just going with the psychic energy family. It looks as if little Cam has other plans. <laughs> yes. Y'all can spend the money to get me out of this shit and then I'm out of here. Because I got plans. He's got a taste for the mob life. And then four lawyers in there that's babysitting him, keeping an eye on him and eventually getting him out. They don't have no loyalty to you, mob ties and princes. They don't. Their loyalty is to the money. All of those four attorneys' asses are on the line. Next card by Little Cam. King of Cups in reverse. <laughs> see? See this? Look here, Jay Prince. Why are you chastising? Everybody chastising little Cam. Look, King of Cups here in reverse. Everybody's ragging on him. Why? You don't rag on your own children. So why are you taking it out on little Cam for? He's behind bars. He can't do anything about it. You really, you really want to tell off and and shout at and get your own children together, don't you? Especially Junior. Junior been running wild, fucking up the place. But instead of talking to Junior... You're taking it all out on Cameron. Mm -hmm. So he feels like this about you. He knows you're pissed with him and he's pissed with you. And all of that energy is just even more reason why he wants to get the hell away from you guys. But he has big plans. You are the dragon in reverse, so he is scared of you, J. Prince Senior. He is. You're the dragon, and you're in reverse. So he knows, Cameron knows that you might try to kill him. Disclaimer. You might try to breathe fire on him and burn his ass up. But he 
He's relatively safe in that jail. So you can't burn his ass up in that jail, can you? In that cell, he's relatively safe. Nothing can happen to him in that cell. So you have to pay the money to get him out. I understand. But he knows, just so you're aware, he knows that you do not like him and you consider him to be a liability and you think that it might be easier if little Cam was isolated or erased. Just to remind you, family, we have a female here in the mob ties. She comes up as the Queen of Swords and Queen of Wands. She's the first point of contact for Little Cam. This is Little Cam. Vibrant, healthy, raring to go, ready to continue the extortion career that he has uh, carved out with the help of mob ties, finances and support and so on and so forth. Here is the poverty card. See, the thing about the five of pentacles is there is an absence of God, or not necessarily the absence of God, but God is inside the church. Little Cam and whoever else rides with him or he is financially responsible for is outside of the church. When you're outside of the church, away from the light and the presence of God, you, you get this, you, you just feel fucked up. You feel as if it's just you against the world. There ain't nothing you can rely on. There's no spirit that can help you. When you needed spirit, where was it? Which God? Who? No, that's me. I'm God. That's how little Cam is feeling. He's God. He the one that did X, Y, and Z. Yeah, in the name of mob ties. Yeah, they financed the whole lot thing of, of it. But he the one that did everything. I did it. I work for this corporation. Me, I did it. I took the steps. I faced the fear. I faced people. I enforced. Not them. But you see, what Little Cam doesn't understand is, is the name, the weight of the name, which was remarkably heavier before Takeoff was killed. You see, the name of Mob Ties was heavier then. But since Takeoff has been assassinated for absolutely no reason by these sloppy, haphazard, careless, warrantless, needless killers, the, the weight, the name of what knob, uh, knob ties, yeah, knobs. <laughs> the name of mob ties isn't quite mobbing anymore. It's not very mobbish. It's not mobbing anymore, is it? The mob ain't mobbing. It ain't. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not. My mob detector isn't mobbing. So, this is the situation that we have. Young, behind bars, renegade extortionist sounds like somebody from the circus <laughs> this huge act 
charade, drama, saga, whatever you want to call it, going on in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Baby. Last card. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Several things about this. Several things about this. Little Cam is short on reliable soldiers. Reliable soldiers who he can really depend upon. Because this was the strength of mob ties. Little Cam was one of those people that they could depend on. They give an order and he would execute it. Disclaimer. But with this Wheel of Fortune here in reverse now, Little Cam has this idea that he's really going to have to be on his P's and mobbing Q's when he is released from there because he don't know. He really feels that he can only depend upon himself and that none of the other people around him, who some of which feel the same way that he does. Some of the other lieutenants whether they're as smart as him or whether they're like DJ Pat. And as one of the, one of the people commented on my, um, one of the viewers commented yesterday on my channel, on one of the videos, that DJ Pat might be on the spectrum. This is the same kind of energy as Cornelius. Yeah, one of the accused in jail in Memphis. Him and straight drop behind bars, accused of killing or being involved in the death of young Dolph. And now another man, somebody Hernandez. The father <clears throat> of a slain female rapper. He has been arrested for the murder of young Dolph. And he is connected to so many different people. It's definitely a spider's web, just like you can see here with Anansi on the card. And this Anansi energy is often associated with luck. If you don't know who Anansi is, he is an energy, a spider, a spirit that is in people, <laughs> in particular parts of Ghana. And those people, when they left Ghana as part of the transatlantic slave trade, etc., and they went to islands in the Caribbean, etc., South America, Central America, North America, so on and so forth. They carried this Anansi energy, this tricky energy with them. Where they could spin a yarn, spin a story, spin a web and catch people within it for their own ends, for whatever it is that they wanted. In Jamaica, we talk about Anansi Tori. We talk about Anansi, we talk about Jinal, <coughs> Jinal, Jinal ship. <laughs> but the card is in reverse here, the Wheel of Fortune, the luck, the ability to con, the ability to trick, the ability to manipulate, the ability to weave one's way out and be lucky is in the reverse. The chances are kind of low. He's surrounded by these four asshole lawyers. He's got these people, this woman in particular, checking in with him verbally all the time. Mental manipulation, orders, chastising, threats. She probably knows that little Cam is too smart for all of this that's going on. And he's trying to figure his way out. <laughs> www.celestialterrorreadings.com This reading has been on Little Cam and what's on the mind of this extortionist. Disclaimer, this is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> Ashe, bless.
Sukudalas.